rap tracks, laps, rats, quick to rip a rap track. That's that slaps, that's make them critics one of bags, bags, took a stab, bad rap, okay, we bags that. AG2G hashtags all up on your iPads and your cellies. Uh, this that cosmic cross spin rhymes and lift your mindset high. Get off the lies, get off this rise, get off that nonsense. Y'all finish you arson is to artistry, get off of this premises, put it into this car, but you get rid of it, you sound a little bit talk. And if this market is just hold on, let me catch it. This market is just bombarded with 90% whackness, track list should have been blacklisted. Slackness and rap, a lack of giftedness. It's what we hear today, and this is not magnificent. So I gotta hit him in the face with a little bit of rhythm and a little bit of bass. I don't really wanna get him, but I think I'm about to get him, so you better take a minute just to get up out the way. Man, I'm trying to be compassionate, but why y'all asking me to be average? I can't imagine it. I'm too passionate about this, okay? I ain't having it. Spit with a passion, stick with a classic click that sticks with the caption. Flip for the backwards quick when I grab this black little book that flip through the chapters. Dip for the rappers, try to do this consistently. After that next chapter, ain't no slacker when I do this. Just admit it, this is slapper. Uh, shout out to like everybody graduate. Uh, shout out to my youngest sister graduate. Uh, that young lady winning, that's no fabrication. Uh, hit this world and show them your imagination. Yeah, I knew you could do it, I knew you could do it. Uh, devil thought he had you, now he looking stupid. Uh, now you got it uh, uh, in the pocket. Uh, uh, it's your party. Uh, uh, go and rock it. Go CJ, go CJ, go CJ. Ay, this your graduation. Ay, this your graduation. Ay, this your graduation. Ay, this your graduation. Go CJ, go CJ, go CJ, go CJ. Ay, this your graduation. Ay, this your graduation. Ay, this your graduation. Ay, this your graduation. building a company. And it's called Six Foods because six legs are better than four. And we make delicious, nutritious cricket chips called chirps. that she's into. This is a real entrepreneur from the heart. So I'm gonna let you explain it. What's, what, what is this? What's going on? What's your story? These are chips chips and they're made with crickets. Crickets? Yeah. Did y'all hear that? Crickets, like bugs. Insects were an answer to years of searching. I've been on and off vegetarian my whole life, wondering if there was a moral, sustainable way to get protein. When I went to Tanzania one summer, I ate a caterpillar and it was love at first taste. So I started researching bugs. As it turns out, eating insects is super sustainable. So should I not be making this burger? Well, it takes about one gallon of water to make one pound of crickets. But to produce a pound of beef, it takes... Don't tell me. 2,000 gallons. So eating a quarter pounder is like showering for an hour and a half. In college, I was studying abroad in Tanzania, okay. and I met a woman selling fried caterpillars on the fried side of the street. Fried caterpillars, okay. Yeah, so most of the world's eating insects. About two and a half billion people, 80% of countries have some kind of insect eating culture. So I met this woman, yeah. and um, I had to try it. I was like, when am I ever going to get to try this? Yeah. Um, so I bought one, um, kind of like, like a worm, bit down, and my first thought was, this tastes kind of like lobster. Lots. It was actually pretty good. I expected it to be ooey and gooey and disgusting, yeah. but it was actually pretty good. So I got back to the United States and just started researching eating insects. Okay. And turns out that insects are an amazing protein source. So it was like, this is amazing. If we can get Americans eating insects, this could make a really big difference in the world, in our environment. Right. But the question was, how do we get Americans right. eating insects? Right? Now that's the thing, because you have a great idea, but it's not an easy idea right. to like bring to fruition. So the next question is, what? how did you take your idea from your mind yeah. and bring it into reality? Like what was yeah. that, what was that, that force 
that caused you to have faith to know that this is going to come to pass like this? This idea was just cap like captured me completely. Like yeah. I've been off and on vegetarian my whole life. Yeah. So for me, this solves a real problem where you know I, I like meat, I'd like to eat it, but I don't feel like it's sustainable or moral. Yeah. And this protein source is something I can really get behind and I think could help the world. And so right. basically my co-founder and I were in college at the time yeah. and we went to Petco okay. and basically bought every kind of insect we could get our hands on, started right. frying them up and trying to feed them to friends. Right. And as you can imagine, that did not go well for a while. Right. <laughs> friends did not want to eat a insects whole. Party. And so what we do, it's actually in these chips, it's something called cricket flour, which is crickets dried and milled into a protein powder. So like instead of whey protein, we work with cricket protein. Wow. And it's just, you know, it looks like a chip, tastes like a multi-grain chip. It's healthier for you. Right. And so that's kind of our solution. I, I see the bags, I yep. see the professionalism of everything. I see, you know, you got boxes about to be shipped away. How did you get funding for what you're doing? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when we started, you know, we couldn't just go to an investor because, you know, it's just such a crazy idea. No one right. wanted to touch it with a 10-foot pole. Right. Um, and so what we did was we did Kickstarter. So Kickstarter is like this crowdfunding campaign. It's like a right. pre-order. So you put your idea out there, you make a video about it, and you see who wants to buy it. Right. So we raised $70,000 on Kickstarter. $70,000. I got to commend you. I just want to shake your hand oh, again. Thanks. Because to, to convince people that cricket chips is a thing and to have them invest 70,000, that's a real accomplishment. I think you told me earlier, isn't that like a, a record on, on Kickstarter for like a food product? Yeah, I mean, food doesn't usually make much money, so we're one of the most funded food Kickstarter projects. You turned down working a regular job to do this full time. Yeah. Okay, so there's millions of people out there who are on the verge yeah. of like leaving their the security of their regular job right. to pursue their vision. Yeah. So you're into this. So what advice would you give somebody who is like thinking about leaving their job to pursue yeah. their vision? You know, I mean, I did it, but I would tell them to take a step back and figure out why they're leaving their job, right? Is it because you don't like your job? Is it because you want to be part of this cool entrepreneurship movement? And those two reasons I'd say aren't good enough. Oh, I mean, wow. I'd say, I mean, leaving your job, it's, it's a big deal. Like right. trying to figure out how to make it on your own, how to make money, it's not easy. So I'd say, you know, really only do it if you have some plan, like some idea of what you're doing and if you have to. Like if this idea cap, like captures you so intensely that you can't imagine doing anything else. Like when I started working on this, I felt like I couldn't think, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't sleep for months. Like wow. I just, there was no choice. Like I had to do this, right. but it hasn't been easy. I mean, you know, you don't make much money for a long time. It's always harder than you think. Um, so I'd say quitting your job, you know, take it seriously right. and make sure you know what you're getting into. You said the co-founder um, turned down a job for Mike, Microsoft yeah. to do this. Yeah. So they We're all really, in. they really believe. Let the people know where they can find you. If they want to try some chips, where can they find find you at? You can buy them on our website at chirpschips.com. You can also find them them on amazon.com. So yeah, check it out. Yeah, I'm T O Double. Mm -hmm. This is Laura DeSoro, and we saying peace out.